Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to today's video. So I'm going to be testing out a bunch of products today from a UK brand that actually just came to the US. I actually remembered to film my intro, which is shocking in itself. My sister-in-law went to the UK, I think like two months ago, and she brought me back a bunch of products from a brand called Obsession, which is the same people who own Makeup Revolution. And there's another drugstore brand called Collection, which she brought me back some stuff from. So, and I'm also sprinkling a few other things in there, like some new launches from Physicians Formula, um, but it's mostly about the UK brands. And this is the look that I came up with, and I really like the way it turned out, and you guys are gonna kinda see my thoughts on everything, what was good, what wasn't so good, and the best part is that the Obsession brand products you can actually buy at Target now, which is great. So if you like anything, you can go see if it's available at your Target, um, and everything is affordable, which is also, you guys know, awesome. And that is it, I think. Do I have anything else to say? And let's get on into the tutorial, try on, and review. And if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and also tap the notification bell down below so you don't miss out on new videos. And let's go. Alright guys, we are filming. Oh my gosh, it took me 20 years to set up my tripod today. And my hair is a little bit crazy. I don't know. I just put this headband on. So my sister-in-law went to London. It was like two months ago. And she brought me back. Um, a bunch of stuff from this brand called Makeup Obsession and it's funny because right after she got me this stuff um, They launched at Target which was like so crazy So I had the stuff she got me that I wanted to test then I was at Target of course when am I not at Target and I got a couple more things to try out like a concealer another lip product and um, Then I saw tons of people talking about the brand. And I was like, oh my god like I have the stuff I have to test it out and see what I think so everything is in here I also have some other stuff I want to test today I don't know um I don't know what I'm gonna get around to testing out of this bag in here but if you guys watch my Instagram stories um you really should follow me on there I post tons of hauls and new products and stuff I went to an event and there's a bunch of new stuff from Physicians Formula Organic Wear line so I don't think I'm going to be able to test everything in here because I have the Makeup Obsession product. But we'll see, um, and I can always do a separate video on the physician stuff. So the only thing I'm like I don't really have is a foundation, like a new foundation to test. I do have this Avon Magix tint, but it's a tinted moisturizer, so I don't know if this is going to be sufficient enough for me because I want something coverage. I want to try this on camera with you guys because I don't think I've tested it on camera yet. It's the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This was like so crazed over, sold out for so long because I know Jeffree Star talked about it and said it was a dupe for the Tatcha uh, Silk Canvas Primer. I have been using this a bunch. Um, I don't like dipping my finger into it. I know it's the same concept as the Tatcha. That's like the one thing I don't like because then I feel like there's all like cat hairs and stuff in it. It gets a little bit gross. Um, so that's kind of my gripe with it, but I have this big old hole in my face because I had a pimple and now I'm just hoping it shrinks down. So I figured what better time to need to fill my pores than today. <laughs> so um, I have not tried the Tatcha one so I can't compare them, but I know a lot of people love the e.l.f. one. So I'm just going to see there's like already a hair. I'm going to just put this on. I think it does have those qualities, like those blurring qualities. Sorry, by the way, about this. This is my mirror, so I propped it up so I could see a little bit better. I mean, it's definitely not going to blur that giant pore on my face. It's just too big. But everything else, I mean, it does kind of have a nice smoothing effect. I'm not like, oh my gosh, like everything has disappeared. But, I mean, it gives a nice smooth base it also doesn't leave me shiny so yes i don't know how this compares to the tasha if you guys know let me know i'm also just gonna put on a little bit of my fresh sugar chocolate hydrating lip balm my friend jillian got this for me for my birthday and i've been using it every day it smells so good you guys it smells just like a i don't know like something from my childhood like a lip smacker or something it does give a light tint to the lips it's mostly clear it is actually a little bit darker now that I'm looking at it, but it just reminds me of being a kid. It's like the 
grown up version of like your favorite childhood chocolate lip balm basically um and i really like it and it is really moisturizing let's start out with the eyeshadow palette before i do any sort of face stuff um i always like to do eyes first so this is the be in love with palette and i don't know if they have this at target or if this is just like a uk um the like a part of the uk display so this is like a drugstore brand basically in the UK as well so here's the packaging it's actually really nice the letters are like raised and then I love the colors because of course they're like neutral and these are my type of shades and of course I'm already eyeing this pink right here for all over the lid this is perfect for basic looks which I you know <laughs> enjoy I feel like a lot of people would like this color scheme and you have really pretty shimmers too you have this gold one this one's not as shimmery, but it's still really pretty. Um, I think this is more of a, more like a satin, these two, Romeo and Bond. So how many shades are there? There's 10 shades in total in here. Um, and they also give you a matte blending shade. I want to set my eyeshadow primer. I'm going to use the shade Adore. That one right there. I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush. And it's nice there's a mirror in here, so I'm just going to use this. I, I did come a little bit closer. So you guys can see better but I already like this shade it's very creamy so far and I don't know if I said this but this is made by the same people who make makeup revolution which is great because we already know they have good quality products most of the time so easy to blend I know it's just a matte shade but you guys know I love my matte um, lid and brow bone shade and that one pet. Then I'm gonna go with Treasure. It looks like just a really light coral shade. I just want to use that as like a transition color. It's not gonna put much color onto the lid but it's always nice to layer everything and just have gradual like colors from dark to light. I mean from light to dark yes that's what I meant <laughs> or dark to light you can think of it that way as well if you're going from here then I'm gonna go in with one of Molly's brushes from her doll 10 collab this is the crease creator and I'm gonna take beloved which is like a medium light tone brown and I'm just gonna put that also in my crease And this is subtle, but it's going to add definition into the crease and just create a nice shadow. Yes, you can see it kind of already uh, deepen up the look a little bit. I'm going to wet my flat brush a little bit just to get um, this color because I feel like these shimmery shades are a little bit harder to pick up. So I'm going to take Starry Eyed right there, that really pretty gold color. And I'm going to put it right in the center. And this is really like a pressed pigment but if you wet your brush then I think you should be fine Gosh, that shade is so pretty it really is such a beautiful gold especially when you wet it it's beautiful you can even wear it all over the lid I just don't personally like to wear gold all over my lid I feel like it's too heavy on me so I like to have a lighter shade 
on the inner corner and that's what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna take dreamer which is like my kind of favorite shades I like those light shimmery tones and my brush is still wet and I'm gonna put that on the inner third of the lid and then the tear duct And then blend that into the gold. Mess up any of the gold, just go back and like add a little bit more. I cannot do a look without this type of brush. I really can't. It's the, just like a domed brush. I always use these in my outer corner. And I'm just trying to blend that into the gold. I'm not gonna add anything else because I really just wanted to I don't want anything too dark I think this is perfect I love the orange uh, lid you guys know that's my favorite like having an orange transition and I'm just gonna pick up a door again which is the matte shade and I'm just gonna oh gosh it's pigmented go over the outer corner it's labor day today and it is a rainy day which is like perfect for filming and just cleaning those are like the best just get stuff done in my in my opinion I have these liners that I got from Revlon it's the so fierce vinyl eyeliner there's a bunch of colors I've been testing these out I've used the purple one a lot it's really pretty this blue one they have a black one they have a brown one too I think I'm gonna use the um it's like a what do you call this it's like a burgundy I'm gonna use that in my waterline it always looks weird on camera, but I'm adding this to my waterline. This is called Righteous Rum. Ooh, that's pretty. It's very unique. So Physicians Formula came out with a new eyeliner for their organic wear line. It's the Precision Liquid Liner. It has chamomile oil in it. So let's test this out. It has this kind of tip where it's like you draw it on like the NYC Sunny Liner that used to be popular. And it's very easy to mess this up, so be careful. That's nice. I'm honestly impressed. Usually with eyeliners, they're either not black enough, but this one, because it's very inky, it, um, it applies really nicely. And you, like I was saying, have to be careful with these because it's so inky and pigmented. You can, it's not for beginners, is what I will say. gonna add a little bit of this Stila um, Pink Pink Wink on the inner tear duct. Take Beloved and put that on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take me and add that to the outer third. Okay, so I also have a mascara from them that I'm going to try. Actually, no, this is not from Obsession, Makeup Obsession. It's another UK brand called Collection Volumizing Mascara. Let's see what the brush looks like natural hair bristle and it goes in in the middle and then it's wider on the outside listen to see see if this gives any volume so far it seems like a really nice mascara I 
रहा है And this is just another like drugstore brand. She was telling me similar to Makeup Obsession. I'm gonna try this Wet n Wild stick foundation. Um, mine is so messed up. I don't know what happened, but I don't know if I've tried this one on camera yet. Blend it out. Ooh! Blend it out with my Michael Todd Sonic one. Yeah, I feel like I wanted to give this foundation another try because I haven't been paying too much attention to it. So I want to see how it wears. How it looks and all that. So I can let you guys know my thoughts on it. It's a little bit of a thicker foundation. Obviously, I'm like much more used to liquids. Has more of a dewier kind of finish I need more coverage on my forehead I feel like I didn't get enough I got from Target I was telling you guys I got more products when I saw the display there um, their concealer so this is huge like I loved how big the bottle was it's called Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal Longwear Concealer with Caffeine. And it's vegan and cruelty free. And I got shade, it's just called 03. I don't think it has a name, but it's a shape tape. And born this way. So you can just see a comparison in size. To test this concealer out, I love playing with new concealers. It has this really interesting doe foot wand reminds me a lot of the pixie one i'm forgetting the name but i did a review on that one Ooh. this might be a little light for me i'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with my juno and co mini sponge this is like the mini version of their um big fiber sponges i forget the name of it i don't like love those but the mini one isn't bad i like this one Good for little areas because sometimes I don't feel like using a huge blender to blend out my concealer. I can be a little bit more concentrated with the little mini guy. Good. Giving good coverage. Let's do this side. Down my nose, like I bring it down the side. It adds a little bit of shading and like helps the contour. These parts I have a little bit of a chemically smell to it. Why can't they make concealers that smell like vanilla? Okay, so my under eyes I think look pretty good. I'm gonna have to keep playing with that concealer, but so far I really like it. When I don't like a concealer, I usually know right away, but this one I actually think is good. Um, it's not too thick, actually. Like you would look at it and be like, oh my gosh, maybe it's so thick. It's really not that bad, and it's not that hard to blend out. Um, it's not even as thick as, I always use shape tape as my comparison because that's like, shape tape is like the standard, like you can hold something to. Um, but I don't think it's, it's definitely not thin, but it's not as thick as that one. So I'm going to use the blush first. Uh, she got me this, it says natural collection. I don't know if that's the same as this one collection. I'm not sure if it's the same, but it says boots on the back distributed by boots. So the shade is Pink Cloud, and it's called Powder Blusher. And I usually don't wear pink shades like this, but let's give it a try. And I feel like this is going to be very, just like a nice natural blush, natural pink blush. So it's just like a natural pink blush. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I actually feel like it looks a little bit, I like it looks a little bit um, patchy on my cheek. I don't love it. Um, pink blushes aren't my thing. I like apricot, peach, bronzy colors. Um, so yeah, not my favorite. This highlighter I'm very excited about. This is also from Obsession. This is the Makeup Lightning Highlighter. And does it have a shade? 
So it is a uh, kind of more of that baked formula. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel too stiff. Like when I first looked at it, I was like, oh gosh, it's going to be a little too stiff. But it's not. It's like an icy white highlighter. I'm going to go ahead and use my AOA F19 highlighter brush. I really like this. And I think it's only a dollar. So... Wow, that is like really intense. Gosh, look how pretty that is, you guys. Put it right on Cupid's bow, a little on the forehead. I have two lip options. One, um, Lauren got me. It's this nude, I, maybe I'll use both. It's a nude, nude pink. It's from Collection. It's called Liquid Lip Color. Or is it? Actually, maybe they are both. Okay, no, I thought this was a lipstick. So, it's like a pink. And then this one is also similar. This I got from Target. It's Makeup Obsession Lip Gloss and Soulmate. So, I thought if I was going to layer them if one was a lipstick and then this was a gloss. Is this just a gloss? Yeah, it's just a gloss. Put this one on. So this is supposed to be a liquid lip. Oh, this is pretty. It's more of like a true pink. And then I'm going to put the Makeup Obsession on top. Oh, this one's a lot more pigmented. I'm just going to do some bronzer. I don't have any bronzers from Makeup Obsession. So I'm just going to use my Fenty in Shady Biz. gonna do a quick spritz with the all-nighter summer solstice really like this this smells so good it smells like summer coconuts I love it and then what I like to do after that is I like to go in with more of a like dewy or not dewy but more like gets rid of all the powder so I'm gonna use my Mac prep and prime fix plus in watermelon oh my gosh this smells amazing That juicy watermelon scent, it literally smells just like watermelon. It doesn't smell too fake or anything. Like how small it is and the packaging is so cute. And this, I think, was $15. So definitely get this before it is discontinued or goes away. It's definitely limited edition. It's really, really fun, especially if you like Fix Plus. I wish they would come out with a big size. Alright guys, so this is the completed look using... Um, all these Makeup Revolution products. My desk is a total mess right now. I'm trying to like even see what I use here. Um, kind of like an overview of my thoughts on everything. Um, I loved the mascara. This was definitely a surprise. The Collection Volumizing Mascara. I thought it did a really nice job of curling, volumizing, lengthening. We'll definitely continue to use that. Um, it's, it's really good. Um, I love the Makeup Obsession Lip Gloss. This one, I don't think I loved as much. I feel like it was more sheer, a little bit harder to apply with the wand, the collection one. Um, this one I definitely think is the winner. I think these are very pigmented. You guys saw when I applied it. And it's really, really pretty color. Um, they had a couple other options. Of course, I went for the pink one. But this is something I recommend. Um, the concealer I thought was really good as well. Definitely impressed so far. Of course, I'm going to have to keep testing it but I love how big it is I thought that was really cool and different and I thought it did a great job of covering up my dark circles uh, wet n wild photo focus foundation I thought it blended out pretty nicely but I still feel like it was I thought it wasn't the easiest to blend out because it is so much thicker of a formula I don't think it's something that I would reach for and be like oh like I want to put this on today that's just my thoughts. See what else. I really, really liked the Physicians Formula Liquid Eyeliner. Gonna have to see how it wears throughout the day and give you guys an update when I've tried it a couple more times. But first impression, I thought it applied beautifully. 
very black and pigmented. Um, again, not for beginners because it's so easy to mess up. Blush, I did not love this natural collection blush. I blush, I don't really think it was that easy to blend and it's not my favorite color. So I'd probably pass on that one. Beautiful, the Mega Lightning um, Highlighter from Obsession. I thought this was really beautiful and you can see right when you put it on, when you apply it, like one swipe and you have like full glow. Love the eyeshadow palette. It did such a nice job of application, blending, pigmentation. I was very, very um, impressed with the palette and I lo love the color scheme. That gold shade was so pigmented and this one too, the pink one was really pretty. Definitely keep on using this palette. Again, I have to see if this is at Target. Be in love with, I'm not sure because this is from the UK display but I will let you guys know. So let me know um, if you have ever tried any products from Obsession before. Did you see the display at your Target and want to pick anything up? Let me know. Comment down below because I love chatting with you guys and this is all about makeup and having fun and I love that everything was drugstore so it's affordable price points. You guys know it's kind of my favorite stuff to use. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!